Hello everyone and welcome to Robotics and Aerospace Tutorials. In this tutorial we explain one very important topic for properly understanding the kinematics and dynamics of rigid bodies. We explain the concept of roll, pitch, yaw, Euler angles. In particular, we explain the so-called ZYX Euler angle convention. We will first graphically explain the Euler angles and then we will derive the expressions for rotation matrices and the direction cosine matrix that is the consequence of Euler rotations. But before I start with explanations, I would like to mention the following. It took me a significant amount of time, energy and planning to create this completely free video tutorial as well as almost 400 free video tutorials that you can find on my YouTube channel. Consequently, I kindly ask you to press the like and subscribe buttons. Also, if you have a question or a comment about the material presented in this lecture, please feel free to ask your question in the comment section below. Thanks. I created an animation that illustrates yaw, pitch and draw Euler angles. And here is the animation. First, we rotate the object around the Z axis. And this rotation is called Ya rotation. Here it is. Then, after this rotation is completed, we have the second rotation. We rotate the object around the axis Y prime. And this rotation is called the pitch rotation. Here it is. Then we have the third rotation. And the third rotation is around the axis x second. And this is the so-called roll rotation. Here it is. Let's play this animation from the beginning. First rotation, yaw rotation. Then the second rotation, pitch rotation. And the third rotation, roll rotation. And that's it. We have three sequential rotation around Z axis, then around the rotated Y axis, And then again, around twice rotated x-axis. And that's it. Simple as that. One. Two. And finally, three. This graph summarizes these three rotations. This is the initial case. The coordinate system x0, y0, z0 is the inertial coordinate system. First, we perform rotation around the axis z0. And this rotation is called yaw rotation. The angle of rotation is theta1. By rotating the object around the axis z0, we actually define a new coordinate system xd, yd, and zd. Then, we perform the second rotation, or the pitch rotation. We perform rotation around the axis YD, for the angle theta 2. And by performing this rotation, we define a new coordinate system, XC, YC, and ZC. And the angle of rotation is theta 2. Again, this is the pitch rotation. Next we perform the third rotation. We rotate the body around the axis xc for the angle theta 3. This rotation is called the roll rotation. By performing this rotation, we define a new coordinate system xb, yb, and zb. And again, the angle of rotation is theta 3. In robotics and aerospace engineering, the coordinate systems are also called frames. The coordinate system B is also called the body frame. This is the frame that is rigidly attached to the body of the object and it rotates with the object. 
The direction of its axis are actually along the lines of symmetry or along the so-called principal axis or principal axis of inertia. We can also interpret these rotations like this. The body frame is rigidly attached to the body. After the yaw rotation, the body frame coincides with the frame D. Then, after the pitch rotation, the body frame also coincides with another coordinate system, and that coordinate system is XC. And finally, we obtain this figure. The angles theta 1, theta 2, and theta 3 are called the yaw pitch roll Euler angles. The angle theta 1 is called yaw angle, the angle theta 2 is called the pitch angle, and the angle theta 3 is called the roll angle. Next, let's introduce the following notation. Let R be a vector. Then the notation R with the superscript B is the notation for the vector R expressed in the coordinate system B with the following projections in the coordinate system B. R with the superscript B is equal to XB, YB, ZB as a vector. An equivalent notation is valid for RC, RD, and R0. That is, we have a single vector r and we are only changing its representation that is we can either represent this vector in the coordinate system b c d or zero and corresponding projections are given over here the figure shown over here illustrates the vector rb in the coordinate system b here is the vector r and this rb means that we represent this vector with its projections onto the axis xb, yb, and zb. And, for example, in this case, the projections can be minus 1 over 2. This is the projection on the xb axis, square root of 3 over 2, projection on the yb axis, and 0, projection on this axis zb. That is, here, assume that the angle is 30 degrees with respect to the axis YB. Now, we consider the following important problem. We are given the angles of rotation, theta 1, theta 2, and theta 3, that is, we are given yaw, pitch, and roll, and we are given the projections of the vector R in the coordinate system B, that is, we are given RB. We want to determine the coordinates of the vector R in the coordinate system 0, that is, we want to determine the projections of R0. This problem is graphically illustrate, illustrated in this figure. Here is the vector RB with its coordinates given in the coordinate system XB, YB, and ZB. And assuming that we know the angles of rotations theta 1, theta 2, and theta 3, we want to represent this vector in the coordinate system 0. That is, we want to find the projections of RB onto the axis X0, Y0, and Z0. To solve this problem, we need to use the concept of rotation matrices. In my previous tutorials, I thoroughly explained rotation matrices. There are three important tutorials that you need to watch and read. Here is the first tutorial. In this tutorial, I explain how to derive the expression for the rotation matrix around the z-axis. Then, in this tutorial, I derive the expression for the rotation matrix around the x-axis and in this tutorial I derive the expression for the rotation matrix around the y-axis. Links to these tutorials are given in the description below this video. Now let us look at the rotation theta 3 shown in figure 1. Here it is. We are rotating the coordinate system XC around the axis XC to obtain the coordinate system B. How to mathematically represent this rotation? By using the rotation matrices, we can write this equation. Let's see what's happening over here. We take the vector R in the coordinate system B we multiply that vector by the corresponding rotation matrix and we obtain the vector R in the coordinate system C. 
This expression can be written like this. This notation R P with respect to C is also a very popular notation for rotation matrix. This notation simply means that we are transforming the coordinate system B into the coordinate system C. Since the rotation is performed around the XC axis, according to my tutorial, we need to write the expression for the rotation matrix around the X axis. And here is the rotation matrix. Next, let's go back to the figure one. And let's mathematically describe this rotation. Over here, we are rotating the coordinate system D around the axis YD to obtain the coordinate system C. And the angle rotation is theta 2. Here, it's very important to observe that the rotation is performed around the Y axis. We can mathematically represent this rotation like this. We take the vector representation in the coordinate system C, we multiply that vector by the corresponding rotation matrix, and we obtain the vector R in the coordinate system D. Since the rotation is performed around the y-axis, the rotation matrix has this form. Next, let us mathematically represent the first rotation. In the first rotation, we are rotating the coordinate system 0 around the axis z0 for the angle theta 1 to define the coordinate system xd, yd, zd. The equation given over here mathematically represents this rotation. We take the representation of the vector r in the coordinate system d, we multiply this representation by r of theta 1 and we obtain the representation or the vector r in the coordinate system 0. Since this rotation is performed with respect to the z-axis, the rotation matrix has this form. Next, let's combine the three equation. That is, let's combine this equation and let's substitute this equation in this equation, then let's substitute this equation in this equation, and let's see the result. And here is the result. This is the equation number 8, then we substitute Rd from the equation 6 to obtain this equation, then we take Rc from the equation 4 and we substitute it, and at the end we obtain this equation. And this equation solves our problem. This equation is used to transform the coordinates of the vector Rb from the coordinate system B to the vector are in the coordinate system 0. Again, here you should keep in mind that we are not rotating the vectors. We are just representing the coordinates of the vector R from the coordinate system B into the coordinates of the vector R in the coordinate system 0. And this expression can be written as a chain of rotation matrices, where this matrix M is the product of the rotation matrices. The matrix M is called the direction cosine matrix. It transforms the projections of vectors from the coordinate system B to projections of vectors in coordinate system 0. In my previous tutorial, which can be found over here, and I will provide the link in the description below, I thoroughly explain direction cosine matrices. And you can learn more about these amazing matrices by reading this tutorial. Next, let's find the expression for the matrix M. That is, we need to multiply these three matrices where they are given over here, over here, and over here. And as the result, we obtain this expression. Over here, C stands for cosinus and S stands for sinus. Now, you might stop over here and you might ask me, well, this is very complicated for computing, right? So how did you compute this without making an error? And how do you know that this is correct? Well, to compute the general form of the matrix M, I'm using SymPy. SymPy is the symbolic Python toolbox. It's a very useful tool for performing symbolic computations. First, I import all the functions and all the packages from SymPy. Then I import NumPy. 
Over here, I call this function from SymPy, and this function is very useful for nicely printing the expressions. Also, you can transform symbolic expression into latex code. Then, I define theta1, theta2, and theta3 symbolically. Let's execute this piece of code and let's see the result. Here's theta1, here's theta2, and here's theta3. Theta1, theta2, and theta3 are symbolic expressions or symbols. Now, I define my three matrices. This is R of theta1, this is R of theta2, and this is R of theta3. These are the three rotation matrices, and you can see over here that I'm simply using cosinus, sinuses, and watch out over here, these cosinus and sinuses are actually imported from SymPy. They are not NP dot, that is the standard NumPy sinus, they are actually from this symbolic toolbox. Let's see these matrices. Let's, for example, see R theta, theta 2. Here it is. Beautiful. Now, let's double check that these are actually rotation matrices. Rotational matrices have one very important property, that is, they are orthogonal matrices. So if I compute R theta transposed by R theta, I should obtain identity matrix. That is, the inverses of rotation matrices are equal to, its, to their transposes. So here it is. This means that I properly define R theta 1. Let's see R theta 2. Perfect. And let's see R theta 3. Here it is. Now, let's compute the matrix M. Here it is. I simply multiply R theta 1 by R theta 2 and R theta 3. And as the result, I obtain the matrix M. And here it is. Here's the matrix M. Looks very nice. Now, let's double check the orthogonality of this matrix. That is, let's compute M transpose times M. And let's see the result. We should obtain the identity matrix. Perfect. We actually obtained the identity matrix, which means that we have properly defined the matrices and we properly computed the matrix M. Okay, that would be all for today. I hope that you liked this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, Please press the like and subscribe buttons. Thanks a lot and have a nice day.